Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into this video. So I want to thank McCart for sending over this pink nail extension gel kit for me to try out for you guys. I am so excited and I cannot wait to use this kit to create a nail set that is breast for breast cancer awareness. I absolutely loved how this set turned out and I loved this pink poly gel kit. So let's unbox it. So far this month of October, I've been doing a lot of Halloween nails, but more importantly, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I want to show some support and make a breast cancer awareness set with this kit. So it is the perfect kit to do so because everything is pink. So opening it up, you get do get two boxes on the top. This kit is very exciting and you get a lot of stuff included. You even get a mini 6 watt. Yes, it is a 6 watt. It's a 6 watt LED lamp and it is the original McCart little lamp and it is super cute. It comes with the instructions and then it also comes with the lamp and the charger or plug and it doesn't have a block but you can just use like the iPhone block or something like that that's all I used and it worked great so it is a push button top it does have six lights and it's very small and convenient to take with you or have small little table instead of a big lamp taking up space So I did just go ahead and plug this in and then you just press the top of it to turn it on and then you press it again to turn it off. It is not motion activated but pressing the button keeps the light on for 60 seconds and then it will automatically turn off. Moving on to the next box which was labeled beautiful glitter powders. You got a few goodies in here. You got some paper forms, which I don't use these, but comment below if I should try them. <laughs> and dual forms. I also don't use these, but let me know if you guys would like to see a tutorial video using these. These are the McCart Curved Square Dual Forms. I don't really like dual forms just because it's just not my cup of tea. I like to do the Lazy Girl slash Femi Beauty method. This kit also comes with some rhinestones. You get like the clear rhinestones and then you also get the AB rhinestones. And then you also get four beautiful glitter powders. And these are 10G. Look at how pretty. So this one's like a white iridescent glitter. And they all did have that little cap. This one just got stuck in the lid, but that was very nice to add those. This was a very pretty silver holographic glitter and it was more of a fine glitter. Here was labeled light pink. I did use this one in the nail set today. And this was a fine, very shimmery pink glitter. And then last but not least, it includes a dark blue, which is also a fine, very pretty and shimmery glitter. So now moving on to the more basic stuff in my mind, because I do already have the pink poly gel kit. So from here on out, mostly everything was included in the pink poly gel kit. But this is a big pamphlet of the instructions, pictures of other um, poly gel and gel polish sets they sell and Q&A. Now here was the last thing in the box. You get a hand file, which is 180 grit. You also get a dual ended brush, which one side is the brush and then the other side is the spatula. You get some slip solution or multi-surface cleanser and my bottle did come like almost half full and I haven't even used this kit yet, so I'm not sure what happened there was no spilling or anything but anyways you also get a top and base and then you also get some poly gels 
you get all pink poly gels and one clear. Obviously the clear is for the glitter, but it does come with six total poly gels. And I'm not going to swatch the clear because we all know McCart's clear. I love McCart's clear. I think it's the clearest poly gel out there and I just love the clear poly gel. And then here are the swatches for the six, five pink shades. And I just swatched these on an index card and then I cured for 30 seconds. So if you guys are just starting out with nails or want a nice full nail kit, I definitely recommend this kit, especially if you love pink. And it is currently on sale on the McCart website for $36 and you get everything that I just showed you. Plus you can get an additional 15% off with my discount code nailed by Brandy. So I will have this kit linked down below. So I was just showing you some of the things that I thought about using. I did not end up using these charms, but don't worry. A video is coming out soon with me using those charms. But here are the colors once they were cured. I was definitely going towards that hot pink shade. That was my definite, definite color that I wanted to use. I love that one so much. It was so bright and so pretty. I also wanted to use that pink glitter and the rhinestones. So for this nail set i was going to be doing the lazy girl slash femi beauty method so i was just going to be using the slip solution that came in the kit and pouring it into my little glass dampen dish and by the way i removed that one nail because i am going to be doing a glitter nail with that one so i always like to start with the pinky and work my way to my thumbnail so I'm just starting with the pinky, applying a very small amount of poly gel, and then taking my brush and doing a pat pat motion to mold the poly gel to the inside of the nail. And for this method, if you have never done this method before, remember a little bit of poly gel goes a long way. You do not need a lot of poly gel for this method because all you're doing is not building the nail, just molding the inside of the nail with poly gel to strengthen the nail. You also do not pop off the full cover tip with this method like you would as a dual form. Once I have the poly gel molded to how I like it and all smoothed out, I am going to place the nail on my natural nail. I'm going to start at the cuticle area and slowly lower it down, pressing gently just as if I were applying a press on. If you do have any spill out, just take your brush and gently clean it up and then cure for 60 seconds on the top side and 60 seconds underneath. Now moving on to the glitter nails, I am going to be doing two glitter nails. I'm going to be doing one full glitter nail and then one ombre glitter nail. So I'm just taking the base coat that came in the kit and painting base coat where I want the glitter to stick. So this nail, I'm painting the base coat on the full nail. And then for this nail, I'm only going to paint it at the tip. I did start paint it at the cuticle, but I removed that and then just painted it at the tip of the nail. Right here. <laughs> I messed up. I didn't really know which one I wanted to do, but I decided that I thought it would look better, the glitter at the tip of the nail. So I am going to be using this light pink glitter to keep the pink theme and just apply the glitter with this little fan brush. This fan brush is from the October Your Nail Lab subscription box. I love it for applying glitter. It is super easy and great for applying glitter and also it's great for brushing the glitter off once the nail has been cured. So I did just cure these then for about 20 seconds and then they were ready to go. So once the glitter was all cured in the lamp, I did use that same fan brush and just wipe away the remaining glitter. And now I'm just taking the clear poly gel that came in the poly gel kit and applying poly gel and encapsulating the glitter, but also just molding the poly gel just like how I did the hot pink color. And then I'm going to press it on my nail just as the same I did with the pinky.
So for my middle finger, I did just do the same exact step steps as I did with my pinky. And then for my index finger here, which is the ombre glitter nail, I'm just taking that hot pink color and applying that to the cuticle area, molding it to the cuticle area. Sorry that I'm out of camera. There we go. Molding it to the cuticle area and then gently pressing it down over the glitter. You can encapsulate the glitter part with clear like how I did with the complete glitter nail, but in the end I just applied two layers of top coat to the underneath side and it encapsulated it a lot faster than taking my time and applying clear poly gel. After I was finished molding the poly gel to how I liked it, I just gently placed it on my natural nail and then I did a full pink nail on my thumb and then I did a final cure of 120 seconds on top and 120 seconds underneath. Now I'm just taking my lint-free wipe and the surface cleanser and wiping off the tacky layer before I start filing so it does not get my file all gunked up and all that jazz. So remember when doing this method you do need to wipe the underneath very well because the underneath is where the poly gel is at and poly gel has a very sticky and tacky layer so you want to make sure that's all wiped away. So I'm just taking the hand file that came in the kit and I'm just filing my cuticle area and the free edge and just filing the crisp up the shape just a little bit. This method you do not need to file at all if you feel like you don't want to file. I just like to crisp up the shape and make everything a little bit cleaner. After filing, I just took my lint-free wipe and wiped away all the dust, and now it's my favorite part, decorating. So I am obviously going to be using these AB rhinestones that came in the set because why not bling this set out? So for what finger? For my middle finger, I never know what finger I'm working on, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be taking the top coat and making a breast cancer awareness ribbon with the rhinestones and I thought this turned out so adorable. I love this. This was probably my favorite nail with the whole set. So after I finished placing the rhinestones how I liked them, I just cured this for 30 seconds in the mini lamp that came with this set. I'm so sorry that I'm working out of frame and that you can't see what I'm doing. I do that a lot and I really try to get better, but it's hard when I'm doing like designs or small detail or something like that. I always feel like I'm in frame, but then I always seem to be closer to my face than I think I am. So now moving on to my index finger, because I did not really like the ombre, I decided to do a line of rhinestones where the glitter and the pink poly gel met and it just made it look 10 times better and you couldn't even tell. It just looked so meant to be. It was, it was absolutely perfect. And then I cured this nail for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. So if you guys have not heard already, but McCart is having 50% off on all of their gel polishes. So run fast because once they sell out, they are not coming back in stock. So I will have my discount code linked down below for you guys. That way you can get 15% off the 50% off. So now I decided to use these beautiful pink hearts from Your Nail Lab October box. And I decided to add these to my pinky nail, and I also decided to add them to my thumbnail. So I really love this breast cancer awareness set, and I will be creating another nail set 
for breast cancer awareness that I have in mind, but if you guys have anything else in mind that you want me to try, please DM me on Instagram and I will definitely give it a shot and try out your nail designs. So for the thumb, I just painted a layer of top coat and then I decided to add some rhinestones just to make the thumb tie in with the other nails. And then I also added the pink hearts throughout the thumbnail just like the pinky nail and then I cured for 30 seconds. Okay, so now I just had to apply the top coat to the glitter nail and look at how satisfying. I love applying top coat to a buffed and filed glitter nail. It just makes it so shiny and so beautiful and I love it. So here are how the nails turned out then. And now I'm just going to be applying some cuticle oil to my cuticles and then rubbing that in. I absolutely loved this nail set. I thought it was so cute and it was perfect for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I absolutely had so much fun creating this set and thank you again to McCart for sending over this pink poly gel kit for me to try out and create a breast cancer awareness set. I absolutely loved how cute that ribbon was. I thought it went perfect and I thought it looked so so cute because it was rhinestones and those little hearts from the October Your Nail Lab box. If you are not subscribed, I definitely recommend subscribing. There are so many goodies in there and I love all of them. I also love the pink glitter in this nail set. I think it's so cute and I just love it. So for these charms, I did not use them because I felt like they would take over from the set, but I do have an upcoming big kawaii gang set that I just did and I am absolutely in love with that set. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and please DM me on Instagram if you have any other breast cancer sets that you would like for me to try out. But as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.